Hey, buddy. Oh, look at we got a family here with Boston Pizza. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. How are you doing? Good, good, good. This is Chris from the Washboard Union, the guy with the big beard. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hello. How are you? Who all do we have in the family here? Who are we talking to? So this is our son, Wyatt. He's six. I'm Joe. This is our daughter, Carmen, and my wife, Cassia. Wyatt, Joe, hey. Carmen, and Cassia. Yeah. I will forget that before I'm done all this. That's okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What did you get from BPs? Uh, we got some French fries and some wings. How can you hey. go wrong with wings? What did, what did we get for wings? I got salt and pepper. What'd you go with? Salt and pepper all the way. And really? Garlic. And honey garlic. <laughs> Chris, what would you do? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm hot wings all the way. Do you like to go extra hot? I can't do the extra hot. Can you? No, 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 no. My mouth is uh, very sensitive. <laughs> That's why I go salt and pepper. <laughs> uh, uh, it's awesome. Did you, uh, do you have the other two guys on the, they're, I know they're both trying to log in. Uh, I have just you so far. That is. Let me check and see what's up. One sec. Oh, here's a congratulations banner. This is fantastic. <laughs> Look at your background. <laughs> that is so good. Sweet. There he is. Uh, this is Aaron from the Washboard Union. Say hello. Hi. Hello, Aaron. Hi, Hi guys. Where are, you guys, where are you at right now? You at your home? Yeah, yeah. we're in Energy, Alberta. Wow, looks like you're in a in a club or something Wait, are you talking about like the red drapery behind yeah like the looks like like you know in a corner booth of the commodore ballroom <laughs> in vancouver or something <laughs> very special did you guys plan to do these uh really cool backgrounds with balloons and congratulations because i really like it well, it's just a special day be, just happened to be full of a room <laughs> <laughs> we got more people joining here now, hello Greg You've got options too, Greg. Do you I? You just need <laughs> oh, don't don't okay, you get me good. don't you get me started, Chris? Come on, Aaron, what you got? Hello. Hello. Hi, how you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. Who do we have there? I'm Donna. Oh, sorry. I'm Courtney. I'm Peyton. Did you say your name is Peyton? Peyton. Did you say your name is Peyton? Yeah. That's my daughter's name. <laughs> How old is she? She is uh, eight months. She's oh, eight months. She's what? Sorry. Awesome. Oh, she's pretty awesome. Sorry, I'm just turning this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be good. Oh wait, what happened to Aaron? Now he's just a background. He's oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I know, there. Okay, how come one, one person has a palm tree behind it? That's really not fair. It's, okay, if that's not fair, we can switch it up. <laughs> I like it. I might. I like it. I, I should have brought the picture of when we saw you at Roddy's place. <laughs> there we go. So, David's joining right now too. So we'll have all the washboard union. I, I am excited to see what he chose for his background. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is happening? David, that's a great look, man. Looks like you're going out to a cricket game. I'm not totally certain that he's uh, in a great Wi-Fi spot because he seems to be just frozen. He's, he's, very, he's very still and patient. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe Cassio, what is your guys' okay. last name? Is that any better? Uh, oh, that's much better. 
What's your guys' last name for the uh, when we do the official game part so I can introduce you properly? Uh, Davey. D A V Y. And Donna, Courtney, and family, what's the last name when I uh, introduce you during our game here? Rogers. R O G E R S. Rogers? I got that. Perfect. Nice and easy. <laughs> so the Rogers family versus the Davies family versus the Washboard Union family. We will be doing Family Feud uh, very shortly, but uh, guys, Thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations to our winners as well. I'm glad you guys could be with us and I'm, I'm sure you're a little happy too that it's not another mundane day stuck at home. <laughs> Great to meet you guys. So yeah, we have the washboard union here. It's David, it's Aaron, it's Chris. Say hello to everybody. You're all now officially introduced. We're officially uploaded. Except for David who keeps having Wi-Fi problems, but that's... <laughs> Somehow well, not surprising to me. I got. I have a question to ask you guys. How's how's my reception? Am I glitchy? Can you see me okay? Is it fine? No, it's great. Just like your hair, it's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Because um, I've 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 uh, I've adopted a new piece of technology for this call, and it's called a a cable. It plugs into the computer. <laughs> so you're going backwards, basically. Are you uh, going dial up next? Backwards, oh, forwards. <laughs> So apparently these things work better with cables. So, uh, so that's what we're trying. So I'm noticing if I'm trying to figure out if there's a difference or not. No, I think it looks really good. Okay, great. Well, that, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys have been doing a lot of Zoom meetings for writing. And of course, with the release of the album Everbound, you've been doing a lot of these? Well, I'm twice a day or so, but not, not much. <laughs> I think we did, uh, Aaron, what was the count? Like 41 interviews in two days by Zoom? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was, that was pretty exhausting, actually. <laughs> By the end, were you just half a bottle of whiskey deep, and you're just like, I don't care what question you're asking anymore. I'm over this. No, it was, it was really interesting, actually, because you, you got to talk to, like, Vancouver and then Halifax and then the middle of the country. It was really cool. To, it just felt like you got to connect with the whole country all in one day. So it was, it was kind of really cool. See, I'm just so much more used to nobody seeing me, so I'm still getting used to the camera part of this whole social distancing and I do not like it. I would rather just a background of a beach and you could hear me instead of just. <laughs> if I am um, as handsome as I remember. Yeah. If I go video guys, it'll just freeze up on me. I apologize. That's okay. I, I like it more. Now you're like a mystery. Like you're, you're kind of like Oz. <laughs> I can do this here. I can go, uh... Like we don't so, know who you are. So what's everyone drinking? I and mean, we've got, I've seen a Pepsi with uh Davey there. The only way to go. Tim Joe's Horton. trying to get a sponsorship from Tim Hortons. I like that. He's got a nice place front and center. Hey, do those come in large? Uh, large and extra large, yeah. Uh, White the Claw. Rogers family has... White Claw. Oh, White Claw? It's like White one Claw. in the afternoon. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are professionals. <laughs> you know it. What, what flavor? Because I, I will maintain the black cherry is the best white claw flavor, and there's no Ruby debate. grapefruit. <sighs> it's, the second, it's the second best. Then lime, and mango is terrible. Oh. Okay. I did a I bunch of that. taste testing just so everybody didn't have to. You're welcome. <laughs> I still never tried a white claw. Oh, you're missing out there, fan. That's like going to be your summer drink while we can't go uh, outside. Yeah. Hey, did you guys all see our Country Thunder video? Did you see the video with the puppets in it? Yeah, yeah, my, uh, we watched it last night. My son loved it. Oh, oh my God, there's, there. there's the Muppets, oh, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging funny. out. This is the closest I can be to Aaron and David. <laughs> How did that idea come about? How do you guys just think to yourselves, you know, we got this awesome song, but what do we do for a video? Puppets? Sure. Well, you know, it was a weird, it was a weird thing because we knew we had to, we had to figure out some sort of video that matched the intensity of the song uh, and, um, <clears throat> and the energy, like there was such an, an epic feel to that song. So we had to make something big and it's almost like, uh, you know, tr a traditional video type wouldn't really have done it justice. Like it would, I felt like it would have just kind of like fell lackluster. Um, so we'd always talked about having the uh like either puppets or marionettes or you know cartoons or something and um i recall when uh we had a conversation with the director stefano barbaras and he wrote me it was a one-line email and he said what do you think about puppets in capital letters 
and I just wrote back, love it. And um, the hard part was getting to the label and everyone else involved in our team and saying, hey, um, so we got this great idea for a video and everyone's been waiting for this. And, and we said, it's, it's, we're thinking puppets. And there was radio silence just like that. <laughs> we're like, and I remember Kelly going, uh, well, I'll take this to the team, but I think this is gonna be a very tough sell. So we, we, it almost didn't happen. It was like 50-50. And it, even at that point, once we decided, um, when the team came back, luckily we've got a really, really great record label <clears throat> and they were right on board with it. And they but said, how, who do you it. go to when you say, I want a puppet made of myself? How, how, I don't know, how do you have a puppet guy? Well, that's, that's the thing is that we didn't either, but Stefano Barbaros does. <laughs> and so he reached out to someone and we didn't get to see a, a, a single sketch or drawing or like picture, video, nothing of these puppets until we arrived at set that day. And uh, we kind of came barging in into uh, what would be our sort of dressing room, green room thing. And we opened the curtain and we revealed the puppets of ourselves dressed in the clothes that we were wearing. So it was such a surreal experience to kind of be scared by yourself. And yeah. uh, so I'll never forget that. And then just seeing them perform on that day, like when they're down by the river sitting on the, the hay bales and they're, they're playing and, you know, we were just like laughing out loud and we we're just like little kids watching these puppets um, perform our song Country Thunder, which is- Are you thinking hilarious. when you are allowed to actually go out and, and play for us live again, you bring the puppets? Are the puppets going to be a part of the new live show when you're allowed to go do it again? Well, since the social distancing is coming up, we're, we're figuring that we'll put the puppets on the road. Perfect. Dead. Yeah. We're, uh, we're a little worried about the videos Chris has been making with the puppets, though. <laughs> We're a little unsure of what's going to be coming out next, but uh, I'm sure it can be, uh, it'll have to be pre-screened, I'll put it that way. I'm trying to get mine to drive the tractor and, and mow the lawn here in the yard. You've already got the beard. I feel like it's just a bit of a castaway situation, but instead of Wilson, you have your three puppets and they're just <laughs> becoming your best friends. You know, what's funny is when we, uh, so we were down <laughs> in Nashville for five weeks recording the album and uh, and I went across the border with, almost like their little tour bus. They all travel in this road case. And I remember going through the US border as, as we got into Tennessee and um, they're like, you know, what are you carrying? And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, banjo and some clothes and some puppets. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the border guard was like, did you say puppets? I said, yeah, you know, a few puppets. And then he opened the case up and realized, you know, one of them was me, which he was like, do you really travel with a puppet version of yourself? And I was like, yes, I, I, this is too much to explain to you. I haven't you not see that a lot with people rolling through these boards. Is that not something most people do? Apparently not. Apparently they like, <laughs> strange food products and, and all the other stuff that people travel with is, uh, is fairly normal, but puppets of yourself, not so much. See, that's when I wish you were the one on border security and I was actually able to watch your episode when it's just some dude with a giant beard rolling through with a puppet of himself. <laughs> like, I don't know, this is weird. Uh, um, <laughs> who's ready to start playing Family Feud? Yep. Okay, cool. So how this is going to work is I have a whole bunch of questions from the internet. And we'll go team by team and see if you can clear the board. Let's go Rogers family. We'll start with you. You guys ready? I don't know if that's a yes, but I think that's a yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's start with what do you do before going to bed? 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. What do you do before going to bed? Brush your teeth. That's the number one answer. Nice. Well, what was the answer? Brush your teeth was the number one answer. Hmm, like, are we talking just before we go to sleep or bed or like the it's a, I Let's make it very broad. I don't know, before you go to bed. <laughs> I've never heard people question the question on Family Feud before. Nobody questioned Steve Harvey. Well, Aaron starts going to bed at around noon. <laughs> so it's, it's a very long, drawn-out process. Okay, Rogers family, keep clearing the board. You got the first answer. What else do you do? Put your jammers on. Say a prayer. You got to pick an answer. Pray. You're going with pray? Pray is your final answer? <laughs> yeah. Can I call first? <laughs> <laughs> These 100 people were not very religious. I forgot to tell you that. 
You got two more X's or you got to clear the board. What else do you do before you go to bed? She said put pajamas on. That's a great answer. That's the number two answer on the board. Nice. Whoa. Come on. You guys didn't even give her a good answer. Good answer after she said it. There we go. Super. All right. Three more answers left. What do you do before going to bed? Bath, shower. Hey, that's on there too. That's the number four answer. Two left and you've cleared the board. Ooh, what else? Um, have a snack. Oh! <laughs> Snack's a good idea though. I have a white claw though. That's, that's my <laughs> nightly routine. Crush a little white claw, you go to bed, it's perfect. All right, two more answers left, one X left. We'll see what happens first. What do you do before going to bed? Read. Read a story? Yeah. That's on there, that's the number three answer. You got one answer and one X left. We'll see what happens here. One more. What do you think? What do you do before going to bed? <laughs> crawl, crawl under the covers. Crawl under the covers is... Uh. <laughs> oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if the Davy family can steal it. What do you do before going to bed, Davy family? Turn off the lights. That's on the board! There we go! <laughs> nice work. Wait a second. Who who is who is this internet person who doesn't put covers on when they go to bed? Stop <laughs> questioning the questions. That is not part of family view. <laughs> you got it. Other <laughs> acts. All right. Uh, let's go, uh, Davy family. Since you stole that one, you'll be next up. Right. In what place are you told to use your inside voice? Uh, school. School. In the classroom is on the board. That's the number two answer. Mm. Where else are we told to use our inside voice? I get told everywhere. <laughs> what, what did you say? Library. You got the number one answer. Congratulations. Nice. Nice job. Wyatt coming through for the team. Also, uh, when you're doing school at home, are you told to use your inside voice or is that just when you get to go to school? <laughs> They're told it all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> all right, three more answers on the board. You got no strikes so far. Where else do you have to use an inside voice? Uh, when, when I hang out with David and Chris. You are absolutely not supposed to answer this. This is for the Davy family. <laughs> not your turn, buddy. <laughs> Good award. I would give you points for that, Aaron. Inside voice, please, David. Museum. Where? A museum. That is strangely not on the board. I'm sorry. That's a weird X to give, but I would agree with that. Um, yeah. Inside voice. One X, three answers left. Where else do you have to use an inside voice? Doctor's office. Hey, that's on the board. Ooh. Congratulations. Why it's killing it. Wow. Good answer. So I think we know who your team captain is, Davy family. <laughs> you got two answers left to get here and two strikes left. Uh, I can't remember what we've said so far. You've said library, classroom, and doctor's office. Library, classroom, doctor's office. Mm -hmm. Museum's not on it. Restaurant? A restaurant? As someone who worked in restaurants for years, nobody uses their inside voices. That, unfortunately, <laughs> is an X. <laughs> One more strike, two answers left on the board. Where else are you told to use an inside voice? The church. That's on the board. What? Again? Wow. Awesome. So these what was people that last one? were religious. The last people were not religious who were surveyed. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Sorry. One more answer, one X left. Where, where else do you have to use an inside voice? Oh, God, I'm doing excuses. Um, oh, I don't know. I think this story. Where do we, where do we go? We're social distancing. We don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> where do you go? Uh, Mall? Mall? Remember, there are no prizes on the line. 
<laughs> Any answer will do. In a store. In a store is not right. Washboard oh. Union, you have a chance to steal. I got this, Aaron. Uh oh, here we go. Movie theater. That's on the board. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Nice one. Washboard Union, you are now up to see okay. if you can solve the puzzle. What are things that come in pairs? Five answers on the board. Pairs do. Uh, Is that an official answer from David? <laughs> no. I was no. going to say Bartlett, but. Uh, shoes. Shoes is the number one answer. Congratulations. 24 people wow. said shoes. Scissors. Scissors is not on the board. No. <laughs> uh, socks. Socks is the number two answer. Congratulations. Jeez. Uh, earrings. Uh, earrings. Doves. Are you saying earrings or doves? I say doves. <laughs> How about Both two are of I'm going to give you two X's in a row on that one. No earrings, no tops. <laughs> Chris, Aaron, what about two of a kind? What's the no? What's the what's the the it's, thing at Christmas time? A, a partridge in a pear tree and a pair of. I, I can't believe how much you're overthinking this answer. It's unbelievable. You've already got three X's. I don't know how many X's you think you get, but you are wiped <laughs> off the board at this point. Which means the Rogers family gets a chance to steal shoes and socks on the board. Name something else that comes in pairs. Earrings. No, that was said, and also an X. That's a double oh. X. Oh, can I answer? And Rogers now. family with two X's. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Do you guys want to hear what else is on the board? You're going to feel real silly. Yeah. Feet, hands, and eyes. I said eyes. Well, those are obvious. I said That's eyeballs. That's the point of the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Rogers family, you're up again. <laughs> What are things that we find at, oh, that's a dumb question because the number one answer doesn't make sense. It was something you find at the beach and somebody said the ocean. That was the number one answer. That's a dumb answer. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> ocean. <laughs> All right, Rogers family, you get this one. What do you miss about school? What do you miss school? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Number one answer. Nothing <laughs> is not on the board, unfortunately. <laughs> Friends. Friends Aww. is the number one answer. Absolutely right. Good job. Good job. Four more answers on the board. What do you miss about school? The teachers. The teachers is the number two answer. Congratulations. Good answer. Good answer. What else do we miss? I miss learning. No, I don't. <laughs> you should say yes because that's on the board. Learning is on the board. Can you close that door, pal? Yeah. Okay. Two more answers on the board. What do you miss about school? What else? What else do you miss about school? Um, recess. Recess. <laughs> no? Bingo! That's recess. recess. Which uh, also, one of the best cartoons ever made is Recess. So if you're not on Disney Plus, you watch that show. It's fantastic. Recess? Hang on, let me write it down. <laughs> that was the best part of school, Recess. It was the best part of school. Also, uh, one more answer on the board, Rogers family. What do you think? One thing you miss about school? Sports? Not sports. I'm sorry. That's two X's on the board. <laughs> Friends. Friends was already said. David is uh, right 12 on. minutes behind in this game. <laughs> <laughs> with earrings. <laughs> Eyeballs? Yeah. <laughs> Rogers family, one answer, one X still left on the board. We'll see which one you get here. What's your answer? What was it? Gym class. Oh, it was so close to gym class. That is not right, though. The answer was lunchtime. Oh. Uh, and I didn't let anybody cartoon. steal. I just lost my job as Steve Harvey. You guys I did very well in lunchtime. What's that? You must have asked all the kids this because the parents, I'm sure, would have way different answers. I'm thinking the exact same <laughs> yep. thing. As I was reading these, I was like, yep. 
Uh, okay, let's do this one for the Davy family. Ooh, what do you do on a summer day? Top five answers on the board. Go in the pool. We're farmers. We don't do normal stuff on a summer day. <laughs> 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 Wyatt is cl is clearing the board again. That's the number one answer. Swim. Wyatt, nice job, man. Which also must be nice to have a pool. Plant seeds. And he put that with a wing in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And on his cheek. <laughs> Four more answers on the board. What do you do on a summer day when you're not farming? Cut the grass. Ooh, that is not on the board. Oh. Think of fun things. Oh, fun things. Drinking White Claw. <laughs> Doesn't have to be sunny for that. I do. <laughs> what do you do on a summer day? What do you think? Water balloons. Oh. Whoa. That is not a right answer. Oh. But I used to love water balloon fights. Yeah. Two X's on the board. All we have is swim so far. What do we think? Have a drink? That is not a right answer. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Washboard Union, you have a chance to steal. Do not say earrings. What do you do on a summer day? <laughs> Go. Beach? Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Come no, on. That's not right. That means the uh, Rogers family has a chance to steal. What do you do on a summer day? Hand. What? Hand. No, that's not a right answer either. Oh. This one. You either swim, which was said, you play outside, you go to camp, you have a picnic, or you have friends over. I'm pretty pretty sure most of us are Canadians. Our our weather changes pretty quick. We don't have a normal summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You bring your umbrella and your snowsuit and your board shorts, <laughs> and you try and figure it out throughout your day. All right. They didn't, see, they didn't see the toque. Well, I guess on that note is is uh, what you do on a summer day, uh, waiting for the weather to change. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Oh, this is good. What's something you do when you wake up in the morning? Top five answers on the board. Washboard Union. Brush your teeth. You know what's gross? That is not on the board. Uh, make breakfast. Make breakfast. Yeah, that's the number four answer. Congratulations. Uh, what else? Drink a White Claw is not allowed, David. <laughs> Depends on the day. I would say, well, what do you guys think? Yawn? Stretch? Stretch. <laughs> Stretch? Is that your answer? Come on. I'm not okay. saying you guys are bad at this game, but I'm not saying you're good at it. Uh, okay, okay, let's get, get serious dressed. here. Let's get serious now. Um, Wait, what, what was said? Get dressed. Yes, get dressed is on the board. Thanks, John, dude. You eat breakfast, you get dressed, what else do you do? What about say good morning? Oh. No. <laughs> I would but say... Uh, you're out of strikes. Oh, no. You failed again. Great, let's what? see if... Uh, why is the round so quick when we take over? It's a lot of X's in a row. It's uh, it's like, you guys would be really good bowlers. Uh, Davey family, we'll give you a chance to steal this one. What do you do when you wake up in the morning? Have a shower? Have a shower? Oh, that's not on the board. Wow. Should have been, though. Uh, it should have been. What does this internet fella do? Well, it's not <laughs> one guy. No. <laughs> All right. Where does he, well, then where does he live? <laughs> where does the internet guy live? <laughs> Rogers family, you get a chance to steal. What do you do when you wake up in the morning? Make a coffee. Make a coffee? Oh. It's not on there. You guys thought it was on there. It's not on there. <laughs> really? No, no, no. Cool. What do we all do? First thing we wake up in the morning. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Check your phone. Oh. Number one answer was check your phone, then hit snooze, then go to the bathroom, and the other two were said. 
<laughs> okay. And who won that round? Um, I'm going to say no one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll I'm, go I'm one, on now. We'll, we'll go one know. more, and then I think Washboard Union, you guys got to go, right? Can I say something first? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I just want to tell the Washboard Union that we saw you in concert at Rogers Place when you opened up for Old Dominion, and you guys were awesome. Wow, Ooh. thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Is I'll that on the answers, Greg? Yeah. Sure. What answer is that, Greg? That was actually not on the board. <laughs> <laughs> we need we we need a new host. What? <laughs> Don't say that. I have that's no really skills. nice. Thank you very much for coming and showing up to that concert. That's that's like one of the one of the highlights. I still remember that that show. Chris, you remember that show too, don't you? I sure do. That was a great one. Did you guys enjoy Old Dominion too? Yeah, yeah. You guys were better. Oh, wow. Thank you. I'm going to get three tickets, yeah. <laughs> Davey family, you guys better pop in here with some compliments or you're going to get left in the yeah. dust by the Rogers family. Oh, hang on a sec here. I got something to show you. <laughs> oh, God, he's standing up. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can see it or not. Is that a napkin? No, it's a Flames jersey that the Washboard Union signed for us at the red carpet. Oh, at the wow. Isn't that something? Awesome. And then we got this. I don't, oh, sorry, somebody's calling me. Okay. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a selfie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you guys find my, my son's uh, hockey jersey at the CCMA red carpet. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. All right, you evened out the playing field. Good work. I didn't think you were going to come with something that strong, but you really did. That was fantastic. Now I have a quick, I have a quick question. Did you get Brett Kissel to sign that Flames jersey? We did. We did. <laughs> That's a rarity. That's a rarity because he's a big Edmonton fan. <laughs> well, Dallas Smith, he's like, yeah, I'm not signing that. Yeah, that sounds like him. <laughs> a couple of weeks after, he's, he was talking about how good the – I think it was Toronto was. And I said, well, wait a sec here. I got you signing a Flames jersey. <laughs> so he he liked it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's do let's finish with one question, and if anybody has anything else to say to the washboard union, then we'll let them go. You guys good with that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I gotta say one thing before, and it's for the um, um, the the picture in the background there. I mean the 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 kid is sitting up in uh, in front of it right now, but it's like an illuminated family photo is that like actually like a light box with a photo on it no it's just a canvas i think the lights just shining through <laughs> oh, okay gotcha well looks it's great. awesome though yeah That's cool yeah and back to the game we go um washboard union we'll start with you because i think we'll get three quick x's here um, <laughs> oh man <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> this is going down right now what does a dog do okay barks Yes! You got a one! <laughs> That's the number one answer. Congratulations. Uh, we still got four more answers. Uh, what does the dog do? Uh, peas. <laughs> How do uh, I choose on things? Come on. <laughs> How do I say this one? Uh, he... Uh, this is going to be, how do I say this properly? Uh, what does a dog do? You're a faceless voice. You can say whatever you want. Nobody knows who it is. He, uh, he licks his, uh, no, no, he cleans himself. A lick is on the board. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, can I be bold here? Yes. <laughs> Better than anyone I know. I got one strike, but this is, I'm sure this will be one. Humps your leg. That is incorrect, you pervert. Oh! Thank you for playing. <laughs> Only that's three trade strikes for the washboard union. We will give the uh, Rogers family a chance to steal. Lick and bark are on the board. What does the dog do? Three more answers. Ours sleeps a lot. Oh. Is that your answer is sleeps? Is that it? Oh. Oh. Davy family here oh. to clean up the uh, what does a dog do category. Bark and lick on the board. What else does a dog do? Oh, it's, it's the grass. 
What? What'd you say? Say it. Say it. Roll on the grass. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to allow it because one of the answers is roll over. So congratulations to the clear winner of today's game, Wyatt from the Davy Town. Uh, Thank you guys so much for playing. Do you guys have any questions or anything else to say to the Washboard Union before we let them go? No, it's it's always a pleasure watching you guys uh, or listening to you guys on the radio and uh, seeing you guys playing. It's always awesome to see it. So. Uh, thank you very much. What do you guys think? What do you guys thank you. Uh, thanks, you guys. Thanks for t spending some time with us today. That was pretty fun. The host. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> nice. What? <laughs> you guys are so nice. Will you guys do us a favor and in the next time? What was that? Sorry. Again? I hope you're back in Edmonton and Rogers Place for another concert in the future. We can't wait to come back to both Edmonton Perfect. and Calgary. It's, it's killing us to not be on the road right now. And, and to be honest, guys, we haven't even seen each other since we literally played the last chord recording the album. And that was like second, third week of February, guys. Yeah, long ago, ago, eh? Ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll always have your puppets. We'll always have a <laughs> Which concerns us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys reach out to us and let us know um, if you're coming to the show when we're back in town. And, and we'll give you our email address. It's super simple. It's just the washboard union at gmail.com. But let us know because we'd sure love to meet you guys in person. Again. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Make sure you have white cloth. We, make sure we have white cloth. <laughs> Greg's got to teach us about white cloth before that. I got time. you covered. You never have to worry about that. <laughs> hey, I'd, also like take, I'd like to take a moment. And uh, Greg, you did a great job. Thanks a lot for doing this. And uh, you're a great host. Did I, how much did I send you to say that? That, you transfer it count it here, but <laughs> you know numbers don't mean anything. <laughs> um, by the way, guys, you'll be able to watch this back if you go to the Barn Forty Nine YouTube channel. That's going to be this whole conversation, this whole game is is going to be posted up there for you in like I don't know a couple hours. So, oh, that's wonderful news, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for playing. I really appreciate everybody being part of this Washboard Union. You know I love you guys and. Uh, Thanks that so much for being fun. part of this. And congrats on Everbound. It's a fantastic album. Oh, thank you, brother. Love you too, man. And you guys, thank you so much for uh, for playing with us and watching us fail horribly at Family Feud. <laughs> Aaron, great job on the marketing. 